Welcome my good smelling friends, Ify here with another video. This time I want to show you the top 10 best purchases of 2020. These are money well spent on fragrances. It's that simple. So let's begin. At number 10, it's a fragrance that I think it deserves a lot more attention, but I understand why it is not getting that much attention. Dunhill Century. This is great value for the money because you're not only getting a huge bottle because this is 135 ml size. It's an eau de parfum as well. So it has the performance and also it has the smell. This smells so different than the rest of the designers. And that's why probably this doesn't get the success because it doesn't have that, you know, sweet modern type of smell. No, this has a more fresher, cleaner with a lot of sandalwood in it. A bit more into the niche type of fragrances if you ask me it actually smells like a niche fragrance but great value for the money in general downhill century number 10 at number nine is the fragrance from the house of aqua di parma which opened my eyes and opened my olfactory experience to this house because after buying colonia ambra I was curious into smelling more from this line with the brown bottles, which unfortunately now they are discontinued, but they are still available in the black bottles. So Colonia Ambra, I think I like it even better than Colonia Leather, which this, if you have smelled Tuscan Leather, this is a familiar scent. This is more unique. Ambra has something that I haven't smelled in any other fragrance. It's both dark and bright. Don't think about amber because of the name Ambra. No, the Ambra comes from ambergris here. At number eight is La Ligue Pour Homme. And this is the fragrance which I'm happy that I have in my collection because now I don't feel the need to go for Creed Bois de Portugal because this smells similar and it is much, much, much I can say this 10 times much more affordable. I wanted to get something from this house because I knew they were, they had this great value for the money we were paying. And I'm glad I started with this one because it's really good, but it has a more mature feel to it. So be careful about blind buying. But overall, the House of La Ligue, great looking bottles, great quality of the bottles, great quality juice very good performance and again very good price and number seven my first creed fragrance creed royal water and while all the focus goes on fragrances from this house like creed aventus like creed aventus cologne creed viking creed green irish tweed i'm happy that the focus doesn't get on this fragrance because it might get you know reformulated i'm happy with the current formulation because it lasts long it smells great, it has the creed quality, even though its name is Royal Water, it's really strong, guys. you think it would be more suited to be worn during spring or summer. I've worn this during fall and I think it worked even better than the warm seasons. And yes, I'm sure I can pull it off in winter as well. At number 6 is one of my recent purchases. I've just shown you this fragrance if you have watched my previous videos. Fragonard Cologne. Grand Lux. While this has the cologne feel to it, I mean, when you're spraying this, it feels like you're putting on like splash aftershave, but it doesn't smell like aftershave, which is strange. You get the feeling, but you don't get the smell. You also don't get the bad performance of a cologne because this, even though it's named cologne, the actual concentration is, see that? It's an eau de toilette. So you get the performance as well. You get a big bottle, 200 ml, and this is probably my easiest to wear fragrance in my collection. Soft, it smells really nice, it can be worn all season round, it's modern as well, it has the sweetness, it has the neroli freshness, it's really that easy to wear. I mean, this can be the only fragrance in a collection. That doesn't sound right. I mean, this can be the only fragrance that you need and you can easily reach for every day. At number five is a fragrance from a house which I truly respect and I'm really happy that they created this fragrance. Aramis Tobacco Reserve. Why am I happy with this fragrance? 
not only because I own it and it smells great, but because Atomis shows that they can keep up with the modern releases while still making something unique, interesting with the Aramis DNA, with the Aramis quality and Aramis complexity. Has the performance again, smells great, Aramis, well done. At number four, it's a fragrance which I'm gonna say from the start, I'm gonna admit it, I got a good deal on this fragrance, I got a good price on it, so it is a bit more expensive, but it's a niche house, one that I think it truly deserves more attention, the house of La Sultan de Saba. And the fragrance has a very long name and it's composed out of two titles. One is the location it's inspired by and that's Voyage sur la route de Malaisie. And the actual title is Champaca Fleur Tropical. Champaca Fleur Tropical. This is an de parfum concentration so it's really concentrated it's surprisingly strong for a floral fragrance with this bright aspect it's very uplifting it's not that complex it doesn't change too much but it has a really pleasant strong linear floral smell which is you you can't get tired of smelling this and i'm saying i'm happy with this fragrance with the purchase because I got to try something from this house and it proved that this house is worth looking more into. The actual quality of the bottle and the juice is really good. I mean, the cap is as good in quality as the cap of the Creed fragrance. The bottle as well has a great quality. The juice is not of a high quality as the Creed fragrance, but the price is also not as high as a Creed fragrance. But it is a bit pricier, like I said, so I wouldn't recommend blind buying this fragrance unless you get a good deal because it usually goes on discounts. This fragrance goes for around 80 euros and for that price I think it's worth investing more into one of these rather than going for a designer that costs 80 euros. At number three, it's one of the cheapest and greatest fragrances in my collection. It's a fragrance that I have discovered this year. It's actually one of my best discoveries of this year. It's Christian Lacroix Bazar pour Homme. And wow, guys, this fragrance, this tiny little bottle has some juice in it. I mean, this is actually one of my three or four bottles of this fragrance and trust me guys you don't need to put on a lot of this juice this is a freshy and it's a strong one and it smells great and it's really cheap to get you a better idea of how this one smells this can be put head to head with fragrances like bulgari aqua like aqua di Gio, fragrances that smell aquatic fresh green this definitely has the quality to compete with those two fragrances but the price much 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 lower even the bottle good quality at number three it's a mix between something really good and my own preference because i really like loewe solo absoluto i think it's probably the best of the line and if you haven't tried anything from the house of loewe so far the smell is something in between designer and niche very dense very thick it has the absolute dna which you know it has it has more amber it, it's more thicker more denser than the original version usually i mean when you smell this fragrance you can tell that there has been effort a lot of efforts put into creating it because the blend is really good and you can feel the quality you can feel the performance and the overall presentation the way the juice looks i really love this fragrance too bad it was discontinued i did manage to get myself two bottles but i think you may still be able to find some leftovers if you have tried this fragrance in the past maybe now it's the time to get yourself a bottle. And at number one, it's the fragrance that I have kept hyping up this year. I've made a special video for it in which I said, and I still think it is probably the best fragrance out there right now because it's still under 10 pounds, JS XT Man. From the recommendation of Mikali's fragrance, 
I was expecting a good fragrance when he told me this one is good, but I didn't expect it to be this good. I mean, for this price, boy oh boy, this fragrance, not only does it have a nice presentation, but if you like fragrances like Valentino Uomo, Dior Homme Intense, Zadig and Voltaire, this is him. This is in that range of smell. It has a bit of a funky smell in the opening because it has an orris root, which gives the fragrance some herbal, earthy opening. But then you're getting something that's more closer to the Orum Intense. And at that point, the fragrance truly shines. It performs great. It gets compliments. And again, I cannot stress this enough. It's too cheap for how it smells and how it feels. And that was it. These were the 10 best purchases of 2020. Please leave a comment below with your best purchases. I'm curious. What did you guys get? Did you get a good one? Let me know. Until the next video, guys, keep smelling great.